Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and yes, another continuation of my little mini series of uh, creating a cluster server. Uh, as on my first video, I'll show you guys how to set up an iSCSI 3 PR. PR basically stands for per persistent uh, reservation, which allows you to configure multiple hard drives into multiple servers so they can share it at the same time as a failover if one hard drive or a server fails the other one takes over so i'm using star wind because free nas and open fighter does not support iscuzzy 3 pr uh star wind works great because it supports clustering and that's what we want we want hard drives that allows us to do clustering so uh on this video i'm going to show you guys how to add these three uh, iSCSI target into our node so I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into our first node uh, remember no one and no two are gonna be our cluster servers so within here I want to go into my start menu and I want st to start typing iSCSI and we want to I'm gonna right click on this and I'm going to pin it to the taskbar because I'm gonna be using it a lot and I'm gonna click on it and once you get this little dialog box, you want to hit yes. This is a yes. If you hit no, it's going to shut down on you and won't work properly. When you get to this point right here, what you guys want to do is type in the IP address of your uh, iSCSI server or your SAN server or your NAS server or wherever your iSCSI target uh, configuration is installed. So my iSCSI server is 192.168.129. 153 now when you hit quick connect you should see okay so it's 239 239 let's go back and let's type in 192 168 129 and I believe it was 239 and let's hit quick connect and there we go so as you can see we see our four SCSI drives actually it's supposed to have three don't know why we have four so let's connect the first two there we go hit done that's awesome and what you want to do once you connect you want to go into your volumes and devices and do a auto config and then once you do your auto config press OK so you're basically saying to yourself what did that do now if you go into your server manager and within your server manager you want to go to tools and computer management once you got your computer management up and running we are going to open it up a little bit more stretch this out and we're going to go into our disk management now within our disk management as you can see one two and three these are the ones that we use our iSCSI target so we need to configure these hard drives to get ready to our cluster nodes okay the way that you do it is you need to bring them offline initialize the disk reformat the disk and then bring them offline then go back to your node 2 and just add the iSCSI targets to it okay guys so we are gonna do it right now so I'm gonna right click on this one I'm gonna bring it online and I'm gonna right click on this one bring it online and I'm gonna break I'm gonna right click on this one and bring it online and I'm gonna right click and initialize the disk now you want to do a GPT format on all three of them and we're gonna press OK and all of them are online as you can see and each one we want to do a new simple volume now with the new simple volume give them a name I'm do s1 for storage one and then we're gonna do the second one simple and this one is going to be called simple 2 or storage 2 and then the last one do the same thing create a new simple volume and it's going to be s3 and that's it now once you have all of them online initialize reformat it we need to bring them offline so we're going to put each of them offline again we are getting this node ready for our cluster row now once all of them are offline we need to get into our node 2 and we need to add our iSCSI target again 
within our second node, you do not, and I repeat, you do not need to reformat or initialize them. We already did that on node one. So let's start this up and hit yes on this. Excellent. And let's add our iSCSI target. So it's 192, 168, 129, I believe 239. We're going to do a quick connect. And we are going to do the first three. So connect, connect, and connect. And we're done. Awesome. Go into your volumes and devices and do a auto config. Press OK. And now go into your server manager, get into tools, computer management. Let's expand our computer management. Let's stretch this out a little bit. Now let's get into our disk management. And you should see your three iSCSI targets offline, but they are they're blue now rather than black. So that basically means that we have already initialized them put them online, initialize them, reformat it, and we're good to go. So that's it, guys. We're, we're about 75% close into setting up our cluster server. So the next video, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to install the cluster row, and we need to validate it to make sure it's correctly configured to get your cluster server up and running. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them right below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.